Hey guys, this is a Supreme Mark I spinner ceiling fan. It's called the Deluxe, and it is a 52-inch ceiling fan. Um, now, this fan I actually picked up a few yesterday. It was yesterday, yeah. Um, <clears throat> and I actually, um, it came out of a house in sort of like northern Baltimore. Actually, Actually, it was like West Baltimore, kind of, like, sort of like Northwest Baltimore, I guess. Um, and basically what they were doing is they were remodeling the entire house, so they had two fans uh, available. Um, this one and a Walmart something, Walmart garbage fan. Um, but this one was the last of the original fans. Apparently, the guy told me um, he had another one um, years ago, um, replaced it with the Walmart. Um, but this was the last one, and um, I don't understand why they didn't replace this one because um, I'll get into that in a few minutes. But um, yeah, so this fan, I'm not exactly sure when it's from. I've never seen one quite like it. I've seen one similar. I know Dan has one that is. Uh, similar except it's it's smaller it's brown and it's a little bit different um this one is 52 inches like i said um polished brass it has a stamped vented spinner motor um and i think the most unique thing about it is that it has you can see the pull chain hanging down there but it also has a knob on the side of the nose that you can see that's not a variable speed knob it's actually a three speed click knob control um and I thought, you know, that, that, whoa, okay, I just knocked over something, hold up. Well, anyways, I thought, you know, that could be a, um, like a replacement, somebody could have done that, put that in, but, um, there's an indentation on the nose for that, so it's clearly original, it's clearly factory, um, so, yeah, I don't know, I don't know like why this one has that and the other ones that I've seen don't have that um about um well anyways um I don't just don't know what to say um so <laughs> regarding time period when this one was made I believe early early to mid 80s I think um maybe a little later um it's definitely later than most of the other ones I've seen that have non-vented motors. They're cast iron and they don't have noses. Um, yeah, this one has the same blade badges as those ones do. It also has the same canopy. The canopy is that of, or actually it's very similar to a Hunter Original. Um, and that's actually the canopy that it came with, the original canopy, so to speak. Um, it's not two piece, it's just a single piece, unlike an original, unlike a genuine Hunter Original canopy. Um, so, uh, it, I got it, it was complete except for the globe and the mounting bracket and J-hook. Um, which, the mounting bracket is no, no big deal, I had a J-hook up there already, I hung it on. The globe, I just threw a schoolhouse on it, it looks okay. Um, the tassel pull chain extension is original, or at least original to when I got it, I didn't put that on. It might be original to the fan, I'm not sure. Um, but anyway, so... Now when I got it, when I first wired it up, this is where um, this fan was just a pain to, to deal with and I'm, I'm just, you know, I'm glad that I got it working, but still, I, I went through a lot. Um, so basically, when I got it, when I originally hung it up and tested it, um, high and low worked, medium did not work. Um, so I thought, okay, there's something going on, capacitor maybe. Um, I open up the nose, there's a single capacitor in there. So that told me that the capa that capacitor is the run capacitor. So that told me that the speeds were all wound into the coils, into the, uh, the state or the windings. Um, so what I did was I was like, okay, it still could be a wiring issue. But I decided to just crack the motor open just, you know, in case. And I'm glad I did because I found that the innermost coil, which is the run coil, run coil, 
Um, the outermost is the star coil in this fan. Um, the innermost coil was all black. And I originally thought, oh dear, it's burnt, it's burned up, never going to run again. But then I thought, you know, it, it still works on high and low, so there's no reason why it should be burnt if it still works on high and low. Um, so I did a little bit more searching. Turns out one of the leads had broken off. I don't know if that's because of stress on the coil or it just broke because, you know, it got brittle or whatever. Um, or somebody was messing around with the wiring, um, which I'll get to in a minute. So um, after I reconnected that, tested it on the floor, it worked fine. And then when I hung it back up, all of a sudden, it what happened first? First the light got really dim and it spun and the, the knob like turned it one click would be forward and high, the other click would be reverse and high. So I determined that one of the wires had come loose, fastened that back up, and then all of a sudden medium stopped working again. So I took it apart again, turns out the wire had come, had broken off again because it was really thin at that part, so I stripped it back a little bit and um, re-soldered it so it's, it would stay. Um, and yeah, so that was, that was fine. Um, then I had, after I reconnected that, hung it back up, put the blades on, and it was still doing the thing where the light was all dim. And the speeds were the speeds were fine, like the speeds all worked, but the light was just really dim. So um, I determined that whoever had had this fan last, the owner that had it last, just completely messed with the wiring and the light kit. The light kit has no pull chain, but it has a hole for one. The pull chain on the fan is a three-way light and fan pull chain, or at least that's how it's wired. I don't know if it was was originally like that. It might have originally been an on-off pull chain. Since, like I said, the three-speed click knob is original. Um, let me just check and see, see how much time I have left on the camera. Um, but anyway, yeah. Um, so, whatever happened, I'm not sure if it was originally a three-speed fan or like a regular on-off pull chain and he added the light kit. But all I know is he just completely messed up the wiring. The light kit was wired to like one of the fan speed windings or something and that's why it was so dim. Um, it was a mess, so I figured it out, straightened it out, um, and now it's 100% working, so I'm really glad that it's working, but boy did I go through it with this fan. So, uh, without further ado, let's go ahead and turn the light kit on. I have it, I think the next pull is going to be the light. Yeah, it goes light, fan and light, fan only, and then off. So that's light only. And there's also an off position on the, um, the three-speed knob on the side of the nose as well. So um, next pull should be fan and light, but I think I have the knob off. Yeah, so that's fan and light off, but just fan. So let's turn the fan on with the knob. Start it up on high. Now it does have RPM like ratings on the tag and it's rated at 220 RPM on high. And I'm not an expert with RPMs and how they look. Um, so I don't know if this one's actually reaching that. Um, but all I can say is it doesn't spin very, it doesn't spin terribly fast. Um, it does blow a good, a good amount of air though, um, obvious, I mean honestly I'm not gonna lie there. It's definitely an okay performer. Not the best, but also not the worst. And I'm not sure if that has to do with all the stress on the run, the run winding. So that's what it does on high, so let's switch it down to medium. It is very quiet though. Like I can, it barely has any motor hum. And the bearings are silent. So that's medium. Pretty good medium. A little slow, maybe. But airflow is still good. So now I'll do low.
That noise is from the dryer, telling us that it's done its drying. But anyway, there's low speed. It's an okay low. I'd like it to be a little slower, but it's not bad. It's almost dead silent on low, though. And that was another reason why I knew the winding couldn't be burned, because if it was burned, if it was, like, toasted, it would have been making a horrendous humming sound or buzzing. But this thing is dead silent. All right, shut it off. And then flip it to reverse. And start up on low this time. a little while to get up to speed, even though it doesn't spin very fast. <laughs> I don't know why that is. So that's about, I think, this. No, maybe a little bit faster. I don't think it's quite up to speed yet, actually. Okay, I think now it is. So that's low and reverse. Looks about maybe a little slower. All right, let's do medium. That looks like high. To be fair, I have not tested it in reverse, but that looks like high. Okay, let's see what high does. High is the exact same thing. Okay, so it is a little messed up still. No big deal. I'm pretty sure that must be the coil. So yeah, this, the, the, this motor is definitely on its way out. At least it works in forward, that's all I can say. Also, there's no wobble on high at all. All right, I'll shut it off. Okay. Whoa, almost fell. Okay. So, um, yeah. So there's the um, the three-speed click knob, as you can see. The reverse switch has a air down indicator, like the that. And then here's the pull chain, as you can see the tassel, the light kit. And then where's the hole? Here's the hole where the pull chain would go in the light kit. It's really weird. Um, these blades are a really nice finish, actually. I thought when I got it that they'd be too light, like, that they wouldn't look too good, but I actually like them a lot. They go well with the brass. So there's the blade badges and your original style canopy. And the tag is up here, somewhere. Yep, the last one I do. So there's the Whoa, there's the tag. If I can get a good balance on this ladder. So there's the tag, as you can see. Mark 1, Deluxe 52. RPM is 220 on high, 100 on medium, and 45 on low. Serial number and watts and amps. Made in Taiwan. Now, these actually... Not, not these fans particularly. Actually, I don't know. Maybe these, but... Brass 52-inch spinners are actually mildly childhood for me. Uh, daycare that I used to go to. My mom used to take me to this daycare when I was really little um, uh, with this woman who lived sort of by my grandma's house, actually. Um, and I remember 
It was, she lived in like a townhouse, almost like my grandma's identically, actually. Um, and um, I remember downstairs, they didn't have any fans on the, the, like the main floor from what I can remember, but on the first, or on the basement, I went down a few times. Her husband lived in the basement or something like that, or somebody lived in the basement, but there was one of these, or at least a, a brass vented spinner like this down there, and there was another one upstairs in one of the main bedrooms, like either like the master bedroom or so I can't think it was the master bedroom because I remember one of the smaller bedrooms had a minuet in it but yeah so these are kind of mildly childhood these brass spinners top mount spinners um so yeah that is about it for this video so that's the supreme mark one deluxe spinner ceiling fan thank you for watching and more to come